Welcome Sam's talk. Russell winds it, feeds it back across, Chuck in scores! Brady Kachuk makes it 2-0! Welcome to Sense Talk. My name is Brandon Plant and I'm your host. Um, bit of a quicker video today. I'm with family right now. Um, but I wanted to make a video because um, it's just unbelievable how consistent the Ottawa Sanders are at being terrible. Um, that trend continued again today. Um, I know the players have, you know, they've packed it in. The season's done. Ottawa is more than 15 points out of a playoff spot now. Um, if they win all their games, they're not even going to hit 95 points. They're not making the playoffs. But um, I do expect a bit more of an effort. I mean, this is the fifth time this year. The fifth time the Sens in back-to-back -back games have given up five-plus goals. That is absolutely absurd. Shout-out to Luke Wells for that stat, by the way. That is absolutely absurd. Almost as absurd as 21 times this year, the Ottawa Sanders have given up the first goal on one of the first three shots. 18 times on one of the first two shots. The goaltending has been terrible this year. And while Corpus Allo in the first half of the game, and I tweeted this out, he played fantastic in the first half. He gave Ottawa a chance to, you know, stay in it. Made some key stops against Boston, who were all over the Ottawa Sanders, literally from puck drop. But other than that, you know, Pasternak hat trick goal, that was a bit of a weak backhand that went low glove side. Bit of a screen out front. Probably want to stop there, though, um, from Corpus Allo. Other than that goal, I don't really know what you want from Corpus Allo tonight. Two of these goals were on breakaways. Um, you had a couple of goals in the slot. Uh, Brezo left out front twice. Um, so you can only get so much from your goaltending when you allow the opponent, especially an opponent like the Boston Bruins with some potent goal scorers, to get slot opportunities and incredible scoring opportunities on such a consistent basis. Those goals are eventually going to go in. So yeah, Corpus Allo, yeah, Forsberg, they've been terrible this year. Um, but I'm not going to blame Corpus Allo for the loss tonight. The Autumn Senators shot themselves in the foot multiple times, resulting in goals in the back of the net. Tim Stutzler, for example, the Pasternak breakaway goal, his second of the night, was a turnover off of a Tim Stutzler. Inexcusable turnover there. Terrible Tim Stutzler pass along the boards to nobody. Picked off from Pasternak. Obviously, he's going to bury that. Um, Chikorin, bad pinch, resulting in a goal as well. Um, just all over the ice for the Ottawa Senators, they were terrible in every facet of the game. So, um, Shane Pinto had a goal today on the power play, his first goal in eight games. That's great. Uh, you can tell by the reaction of that goal that he was pretty fired up for that one. Definitely a bit of a monkey off the back moment for him. Kachuk, um, who got a little uh, hysterical, I have to say, uh, near the end of the game, took on, or challenged, I should say, the entire Bruins bench, got kicked out of the game. Um, you know, he had a nice goal there near the end of the second period. Um, you know, to give Ottawa a chance going to the third, but back-to-back -back games, Ottawa's given up three goals uh, into the third period when they were only going to, into the third period down by a goal. So that's back-to-back -back games. Ottawa's choked away a chance to come back and win after a string of games where Ottawa actually came back and won. So um, it's absolutely insane how this team could do 180 in a good direction and a bad direction no matter the game. So uh, you never know what you're going to get with the Ottawa Sanders. Um, sorry, Forrest Gump, to steal your quote. Um, but... Uh, no, re in reality, I mean, it's just there's no consistency with this team other than the fact they're inconsistent. So um, that continues tonight. Obviously, the Bruins are a fantastic team. This is a team that's going to make the playoffs, probably will make some noise. Uh, Linus Allmark, hopefully the future Ottawa Senator, uh, was unbelievable tonight. I mean, unbelievable early on when Ottawa was pressing. They were pressing. Trent Raynard, our blogger and stats nerd, as he says himself, um, put out an interesting stat showing that Ottawa essentially had almost double the expected goals than Boston going into, I believe, the third period. So Ottawa was generating chances, but the Bruins, look, their shooting percentage tonight was absurd. It was like 25% or so. They were shooting, and when they were shooting, it was often going in. Meanwhile, for Ottawa, they got a lot of chances on net, but they didn't bury it. I mean, they had a power play, seven shots on net. How do you not score? Well, Linus Allmark is why. So the, the big difference in this game, obviously, is elite goaltending. Um, and defensive structure. I mean, the Bruins, they give up chances, but more often than not, they were from outside and from distance, while Ottawa gave up a lot of chances from in close and right um, in the slot and crease area. So um, much different than what the Bruins are giving up, and um, it shows. Once again, the Bruins are a team full of structure, and the Ottawa Senators are completely the opposite. So 
Um, yeah, tough loss, but it's good for the tank. It's good for the tank. Columbus today, uh, you know, they lost in overtime to Detroit, which kind of sucks. Detroit gets a huge two points. Patty Kane, Mr. Uh, Showtime, gets a huge goal there for them. Um, and obviously Columbus picking up a point. It's a nice little thing for Ottawa and our tank watch. Um, it never hurts when our tank rivals get some points on the board. So, uh, yeah, besides that, I mean, not much else to say. I mean, literally, this was um, a terrible effort by Ottawa. After that second period, I mean, that third period was a snooze fest. It was all Boston, um, and you can really tell they're just packing it in at this point. So, for Corpusalo, um, he has not been great this year. Another iffy game in terms of the stats, but I mean, if you watch the goals back, five out of those six goals, not many goalies are going to stop, I'll be honest with you. Now, that's not an excuse for the poor season or for the loss, um, but I think a lot of people are being hard on Corpusalo, deservingly so this year. This game, purely on the defense and the consistent turnovers and defensive miscues that led to these goals. Corpusalo, frankly, played better than the stat line shows. So for the Ottawa Sanders, I mean, as usual, they need better performances from their big guys. Um, Stutzla, Chikrin, they did not look good today. Um, turnover, sloppy play, bad pinches, you name it, resulting in goals against. Um, I liked Kachuk's game, big goal the, in that second period. I liked that passion. I liked that energy. I liked that follow through. Um, but once again, as the captain in a game where you're getting routed essentially on the road, maybe you don't, you know, embarrass yourself by taking on the entire bench and getting kicked out of the game. I mean, you know, I love Kachuk like the next guy. Um, I'll defend this guy. He's a great captain, but um, you got to, you know, you got to restrain yourself a little bit. I mean, um, if we're in a playoff you know, push against Boston. That's one thing, but we're way out of it. Um, let's keep some respect for ourselves. So I, I'm wondering what you guys think in the comment section down below. Maybe I'm overreacting to that, but I just think, you know, when we're so out of a playoff spot um, and, you know, obviously just getting pumped by Boston tonight, obviously that frustration is going to be evident throughout the lineup. But if you're the captain, you might want to hold that back just a little bit. I mean, I, I have no issue with showing emotion at all. But maybe in a different way, in a way that's a little less embarrassing. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below about that. And yeah, so besides that, I'll see you Thursday when Ottawa takes on the Blues. Maybe we could get back in the win column, but we'll see. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you all soon. Go Sens go. At least you're a good boy, Brady. The Sens suck, but you're a good boy. Always a good boy.